welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number f- 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 53. 53. 53. <laughs> of, of the Optic <laughs> Podcast. Your usual guests, Jack Courage, JD Dunlop. Dunlop. Is you guys Dunlop? don't know this. You guys don't. You only introduced me. <laughs> you, got, you, 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 you guys don't know this, but Jack's, Jack's parents are massively wealthy because they invented the tire, Dunlop tires. Yeah. Uh, we have Hitch <laughs> and we have Ashley, whose parents invented true, right? the <laughs> post it notes. <laughs> Listen, if my parents invested, started the Dunlop Tire Golf Ball and Tennis Ball Company, I would be sitting on this couch right now. <laughs> I would be in one of those front offices. That's Why? What doing. Yeah, this would be in one of these front I would have been, been the, the inv- I, I would have bought a, uh, Optic. That's oh, the, you yeah. would have been the, I mean, the, the, the investor. Been, you would have been bang, the investor. Bang! 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 No, we got to do the, the PewDiePie. Add the lasers. Gloria Borg. Anyway, uh, Hector, <laughs> you guys know me. We're, we're talking about Black Ops 4 and the reveal that just happened and how hype everyone. I mean, I, for one, I'm was yet hype. again super. It's like that. <laughs> it's like that girlfriend mm-hmm. or boyfriend that keeps on going back to that relationship, mm-hmm. you know? Like, <laughs> so, I think we all are. We, we all get super, yeah. like, I'm going to change. This is the year that I change. Right. And we get in there, <laughs> changing weapons before tournaments. Yeah. S- maps. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this game because I haven't played don't it. Play it. Listen, yeah, yeah. you know that we've all seen the graphic, the COD cycle each year? Yep. Yeah. We are in the peak of that COD cycle right now. I know it's the peak of that COD cycle right now, but you better believe I'm still on my hype train. And I've done that well, since. Well, it's a little different for you. Because Black Ops 3 was your shit. And Black Ops 4 looks like a copy and paste of Black Ops 3, just they took out. Thank you, by the way. Yes, thank you. I don't think that's true, bro. What? Think of the layers, man. You gotta stab yourself to heal. You have extra 50 points of health. You have the same specialist. Okay, we, 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 should, we should talk that in, the, in, in, in that segment. But as far as like the visual goes, it is. Oh, yeah, it yeah. looks. It looks just like it. Exactly. Looks exactly but, like, like it. But. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. We should say that because when we say it looks exactly, or says, when people say it's an exact replica, people say that it's like, oh, they didn't try. And like, thank you for leaving it the same. Yeah, like, don't yeah, change. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's, That's a good thing, in my opinion. There's like, a reason why they're still releasing DLC for Black Ops Three in its third year, which has never been done in a COD before, <laughs> and it's because. A very large amount of people still sign on and play that game as their main COD every day. That's never yeah. left that game Unreal. because of how much stuff there is in it. Like, never before in history did they release DLCs for a COD in its second year, but then in Infinite Warfare, they released stuff for Black Ops 3, and that just set the tone for that game. Like, they're still not done releasing stuff for that. I wonder I wonder if, and I don't think they'll ever make this public, or is it public, Jack, where you can see the, the, the amount of people that are playing a, a specific game versus every other game. So it used, yeah. to, it used to be more public stuff. But I think that one thing that, especially, you know, I think this is something that Activision learned from Blizzard, and I think more games have now taken in, is, like, keeping numbers private gives you the power to portray them in certain ways to make you look better. Like, you'll never to see... To lie. Not, not lie, but you'll never see Blizzard say how many concurrent players they have in, you know, in, in their games. They used to be much more public about how often they announced how many people were subscribed to World of Warcraft. That's become much more rare now. Like, it used to be like a thing where you could go and do one Google search, but, oh, last month there was 10 million subscribers. That's that's all. The days of that are gone. Um, And I think the same thing is there for COD. I mean, remember in the old days, you'd sign on, and Halo 3, there was the map that showed how many people are online. Now if you go and you don't see a high number, it plays into your head of, like, am I playing the right game? Yeah, that's true. Like, even if you go back to old Call of Duties, because I don't know if new, new Call of Duties don't have, like, how many people are playing anymore, do they? they have, what was the last one that they, they had the... I feel like Black Ops 2, because I don't think... Yeah. I think Ghost was the first one where it was like, oh, they don't even want to show how many people are playing. They were like, Sheesh. yeah. That was, that was in there, and then they saw pre sale numbers, like, let's cut that part out. Seriously, <laughs> um, <laughs> what they pulled. But they... Uh, the, the only way that now you can see the most popular games or something like that is if you go to, like, the PlayStation dashboard, it shows, like, which games are the most people signed on. Oh, really? And, like, people have taken, like, screenshots of, like, Black Ops 3 being number two even, what? like, a month after IW's release, like, being above. Wow. Well, that makes sense. My, my indicator has always been Twitch. You know, if, if, yeah. if there's people watching, there's people playing. Right. And Call of Duty hasn't been 
anywhere near the top in how long? But I mean, I will say this: Black Ops Three was a top ten to fifteen game consistently on there. So, it since, so it's been three years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was absolutely up there. Like, I mean, you could tell by you would have primes going on with S and D stars of four, four, four thousand viewers, like five thousand viewers. And I, that's why I think like people keep saying the word dead, and it I don't understand because it's like. There are there have been so many consistently awful CODs. Yes, I literally <laughs> like, said that in her vlog. Consistent, blog. like Ghost was like, oh wow, this game's bad, especially after the amazing year we had just had. Then IW or AW comes out and it's like, what's going on? Yeah. And then Black Ops Three is just like ease the burning for yeah. a year, and then we go to the worst one, mm -hmm. and then we come back to boots on the ground. Like I, I hope I'm not roasting anybody right no, now. No, it's, it it's, it's just obvious. Constructive criticism. Well, I think like for the last ten years. Sucks. <laughs> I, I feel like IW, and I, I hate to say it, but it really hurt. The timing that it came out really hurt, like Call yeah. of Duty. Like if IW came out before Black Ops Three. I think it would have been a more successful game. Maybe not like the most because it followed AW. Here's, but. here's, here's yeah. a question. What if Infinite, Infinity War? Yeah. Infinite War? Infinity, Infinity, Infinity War. War. Infinity yeah. Warfare. There's so many IW. Like, Let's say Infinity Warfare. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you talking about, about the, the Avengers? <laughs> Infinite Warfare was the game. Let's Infinity say Thanos was the movie. had a and, Hamas. <laughs> in, Infinity War was, this was the movie. Yeah. Right. Infinite Warfare was the game, Infinity, and Infinity Infinity Ward, Ward is the, like mental. the developer. Just, just so everyone knows, <laughs> I know this. Is there no okay. other adjectives? Yeah, yeah, I'm what, just, I'm just what's a long-lasting war. Okay, <laughs> anyway, if Infinity War... <laughs> no, stop. Come on, Hank. <laughs> what anyway, what if, what if, uh, what if Infinite Modern Warfare, Warfare Remaster okay. wasn't co-released? With oh, Infinite bro. Warfare, that... what uh, what do you think would have what, what what would have been the damage or what would have been the success of it? I have I have my opinions, but I don't want Jack to answer because he's an avid MWR <laughs> hater. Yes. Dude, a what? Huge hater of MW. He hates it. I he, loved it. So that's much. where the courage quitters came from. Yeah. Courage quitters. Quit. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 5, 5 Pro Mod on Crash. It was the worst experience of my life. The three story on um, Crash. It was just terrible. And 16. Um, what I mean. I just don't think. Just wasn't your thing. Do you do you think that that in that that, that game that I can't say would have would have had the the bad the, the, as bad a year as it did if, if they didn't have a, a core release? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. I mean. Yes. Yeah, so if on I, the if game? I'm thinking, if I'm thinking in Activision terms, you look at it, and they obviously saw that Infinite Warfare was struggling, and were like, okay, well, how do we make up for Infinite Warfare struggles? Let's add new stuff to MWR. Like, hey, Raven, what you doing? Like, yeah. they added supply drops. They had to make their money somehow. They started to add DLC in Black Ops 3. Yeah, because wasn't weren't supply drops not even in the game at the beginning? No, uh, they no. were. They or, actually, no, 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 that's not, a mistake. They were they not, were not, not. The start of MWR, no. Yeah. And then, Did you have to buy them? What, yeah, supply drops? Supply drops? Yeah. 100%. Oh, I spent a lot of money. Did I buy, did I buy all those things? Yeah. <laughs> he oh. blacked out. I blacked out. I had the wrench. I had the, the bayonet. I had... Yeah, no, it was it was yeah. the first. That and Fortnite of the only times I was just like, oh, damn. Bro, I've, how much? They get you. All right, let's not talk about Fortnite. We're talking about Black Ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black Ops 4. Don't, yeah, let's get back to Black don't Ops Don't disrespect Vondi yeah. like now that. Now that we've done our, our thoughts on everything else, let's do, I think we should do like first like an overall like impressions uh, in like I, I want to do like an overall impressions, but then like at multiplayer, quick zombies, and the battle royale. Battle royale. Let's battle do royale it. At the end, let's go. Um, I like it. Because like we, we talked a little bit about the overall impressions, but one of the big ones is obviously the how colorful the maps are, which yep. I agree is awesome. Yes, yes. we need that. Thank you. you I was flashy. literally watching it like, wow, that <laughs> Again, looks pretty. Yeah. yeah. I would swipe right. <laughs> Instead of like, and then and then I watch go back and watch <laughs> World War Two or World War Two, and people are just like trudging around in the. In fog, and I'm just like, oh my god, in the get fog. me out! Of it. It's just like foggy and just. Yeah, it does. So oh, why is there dirt look. on me outside? <laughs> you know what's crazy it. is this is the first direct like sequel that Treyarch's ever done. Like World of War wasn't really a sequel. Black Ops One and Two had nothing to do with each other. Two and Three nothing to do with each other. But Three and Four. This is technically a prequel. I mean, yeah, technically, it's a prequel it, it appears to that Black it is. Ops Three, from what I understand. Is this it is, really? This it is a seems like it has. They don't have jetpacks yet. The technology. So it takes place between Black Ops uh, well, I don't know 2 if it, and Black like, Ops 3. Didn't know that. That's, I don't know that's if it what takes I heard. Place because like, that there's no campaign to Exactly. Like, like, it sucks that. that we won't ever see the campaign. Well, I, I think the thing is that there's, there was never an Overwatch campaign, but one of the biggest strengths of Overwatch is how they do their, their storytelling, their cinematics. I would not be surprised if there was more 
of a view of how Overwatch has done their storytelling in the universe mm -hmm. to now. If you've never watched any of the Overwatch shorts, you need to go watch the animated shorts. They are some of the best things I've ever seen in gaming. Like, if you've ever watched the Hanzo and Genji video, it literally, like, it is so well done. And I would not be surprised if they try to take some of that for Black Ops 4. Well, it that seems like sense. instead of, like, a storyline, they're kind of, like... <coughs> Like getting you more involved with each character, each specialist. So like, sure. in, in the part of the reveal where he's like, nobody gives a f about you, and it's all about like, ruin or whatever. Like, I think that that type of stuff is like in lieu of a campaign, or I don't know. I like think that, like yeah. the cinematic, yeah. like the cinematic they showed where you saw ruin. Like he was like looking at the camera, and then like the next like frame, he was screaming like at the top yeah. of his lungs. Like, just imagine if they do leading up. Let's say the eight weeks leading up to the release. Each week they release a cinematic of. The, the, of the backstory of the character. I would rather yeah. watch that than play a full campaign. That's well, the thing is, true. like, well, with the specialists in Black Ops 3, they had, like, those little, I don't know if you ever saw them, but those little cards, and it had, like, a little sound bite of their little story. Yeah. Now, it doesn't really, for some of them, it doesn't really make sense that they would have, or maybe they have to follow that same story, I'm not sure, but yeah. either way, like, they're definitely going to, they're, they're developing the character of multiplayer more than ever, it seems like. What was the last campaign that you, up until when did you stop playing the campaign? Because I Crossing the Rhine was the last campaign mode that I ever played. I play them all, but only That's because... That's Call of Duty 2, for only, those who don't know. Only for content, I play them. Yeah, I mean... Or if the power goes out, or, I mean, the internet goes out. <laughs> What's crazy is, like, I've watched videos, like, the top... Like, there, there are videos of, like, millions of views on YouTube, like, top ten craziest moments from COD campaigns, because people go back and look yeah. at them. I'll be like... Watch Mojo. I remember that. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, like, I remember that. Don't remember that. I didn't play that one. I remember that. Yeah. Do I remember that? I do remember that. Like, that stuff. I mean, there's been legendary moments. But so, I, have you? Do, are you a, I'm not campaign, a campaign player? player. No. Okay, you're not. No. no. Hitch? No, I haven't. Not since Modern Warfare 3. I, I can't, remember the, I can't remember the last one. I there's some good ones. The last really good one I played was Call of Duty Ghosts. Like, well, I've played yeah. all of them, but apparently. Call of Duty Ghosts had a dope campaign, and I think, like, Treyarch is smart. Like they saw, I, I saw like some like achievement stats that showed. I don't know if these are right, but this is just one cherry pick stat. Like nine percent of people completed the Black Ops Three campaign. And that's based nine. on like the amount of achievements of how many people like got through it, mm -hmm. right? So you could see why Treyarch would be like, well, maybe like let's not. But a company like IW, Infinity Ward, mm -hmm. <laughs> they would be like, I mean, they they excel at campaigns like. IW was an amazing campaign. It actually, like, was really good. Mm -hmm. Ghost is amazing. Like, they have uh, a really good shot at doing that. Yeah. So, I don't know. It makes sense for them to focus on it, but for Treyarch, they got zombies. Looks ridiculous. We'll get to that, but, like... And the, apparently they're just going crazy on the BR, too. Yeah. Oh, that's been Vaughn's baby. I remember yeah. his one of his tweets that he had deleted was, like, he, he, he... Remember, well, he was like, I saw things on only ones and zeros, yada, yada, all that stuff, like, binary... And, like, apparently, in one of his tweets he put out, he said, like, he went into a room and his idea just got, like, exposed slash destroyed. Like blasted. And, like, I can almost guarantee you they were like, Vaughn, we need to make a BR mode. That's what you are doing. Here is your team of 100 people. Like, because yeah. the way develop, like, developers ramp up their staff big time for the release of the game. Right. And I guarantee you they literally were like, here's <laughs> the, part of your core team, and then here's 50 other people to help. Do it, like, just do it. Yeah. And, like, that's what's being built. Like, th th that's why I think he got so excited, too. It was like, this is blah. He screamed it. No, yeah. yeah. I was, this is blah. <laughs> Bef before that I moment, like, like I was under the impression that Raven was doing it because they did I the COD too, Battle yeah. Royale, like, for, for China. Mm -hmm. So, and that was the big rumor, right? But with, with, with the leaks that Raven was doing it, which made sense because it's like, what's Raven been doing? Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if they like helped with it or if it is like all, if it's all in house Treyarch, like that's crazy. Like Treyarch's just yeah, coming in that's, and big D and everybody. Because right? what I thought was going to happen or what got leaked or something is that uh, there was COD Battle Royale was going to be its own game. And, um, yeah. and then they were going to update it um, like consistently. But it was going to be its own game, and it was going to be, you know, playable. Like you would but, but I didn't I think, think it was going to be inside of a Call of Duty. But I think it, it's still it's, it's still going to have to be. Uh, he and I its were just talking game. about outside. We, we, it has to be like the think of the engine. The, the, yeah, the doc said something about the engine and how it's not going to be able to handle like online multiplayer as as, as, as uh, the, the world that we know. Yeah. Plus, on top of this, this doc would know too. This massive online like multiplayer with like a hundred people dropping into this massive massive place over and over and over simultaneously thousands and thousands of times because you got to think about how many anytime you drop in to into uh into a map 
Think about how many other people, how many, uh, how many other 100 set of people are dropping in over and over again, right? And, and, and this is, I don't know, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to get technical, but if you have a million games going on at once, that's 100 million people. Am I right? Yes. yes. Dropping in at the same time <laughs> into crazy. this like in, into this realm where physics is a thing, and all these physics are being ran by this one engine a yeah. hundred million think, times. Yeah, I'm, I, like you got to think about a. Well, first of all, I doubt it's going to be a hundred people on the map. I think it has to be for it to be successful. I mean, I don't know if it will be, but like. Shit, it, I people. feel like if for it to be like Maybe a BR, right. you can't just have like an 18 player like on the biggest map in COD. Like it's got to be a full fledged thing. And like, I was thinking like 50. I don't know because Islands you? Islands of Nine is 50. Oh, is it? Yeah. And is the map and like really significantly fast. smaller? Than no, the it's other the same or? map, but the zone, the first zone, is like a third of the map. So they don't they don't like it's like. We're the already, first zone, everybody's running. We're already, already. getting to the like the BR part, but like, what do you think the zone is in Blackout? Is it zombies? Is it Ooh, fog? Imagine it's a shit ton of zombies. Because it says, do you, did you see the Activision description? How, wow. Why that didn't that I be? think of that? It says zombies in the description. All I know is it's uh, if it was that, that's a lot more pressure on the servers, like to True. animate. Yeah, yeah. like oh, yeah. AI. Like, but what, what if it's yeah, not dude. zombies? But what if it's fog with zombie sounds? Or yeah. No, or it's like you're in the zone and you're taking damage, but then wow, I just got but, psyched. But then zombies, <laughs> zombies start running at you, so like what? you take a lower amount of damage, but you need to fight off zombies like as you as you're running out of the zone or something like that. That's that, terrifying. That, that will be scary. And then, it's like, and then Res Bob is gets, like, waiting for you. And you're in there, and next thing you know, all you hear is like. Dude, you're like, oh. you actually did a really good job. Really hey, are you in the game? <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, that's that was where really good. Bro, and then imagine tough. you're running out and then boom, extreme conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, that one was a little That's how the bag is. That's how the bag is. That's how the But yeah, so that, that, oh man, it, there's a lot they can do with it. I think, I think if we go like to the multiplayer side, like the, as like the focus. Dude. Multiplayer looks it could, good. Uh, like, it's 5v5 to start. That's the first Don't thing. Don't care. 5v5 Love now it. with adjusted maps. Yeah. What do you guys um, think about the specials? What are we talking about? 5v5 what? Pubs are, Pubs no are 5 v 6 They're now 5v5. And in the zones, in the modes that they were all playing there at the event, no one could pick the same specialist as their teammate. So, like so it started up and it was almost like a quick little blind pick like League of Legends. Yeah. Where you, everyone had to select and someone wow. had to be medic and someone had to be that. So it's more of like an I'm Overwatch telling you, type I called deal. it. Okay. If I called Timmy it. Timmy gets battery before This is the year. You think I, so? I, 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 this is the year. I think so. What do you it think? Within the, next, within the next week, week and a half, or as we're getting closer to it, there's going to be a call from up above that's going to call all the teams and be like, uh, just so you guys know, we're going to five, so make adjustments. Here, here's what I think. This is the first COD ever where I looked into pre-purchasing the game on my PC before I purchased it on my console. Same. Like, it being mm. on Battle.net. I signed into Battle.net and looked at it, back, and I was like this. Back up, that's Jack. Nice and I was like this. Though. I'm ready to click purchase on Battle.net right now. See, well, I don't think I could. I don't think I could play Call of Duty on anything. I played it before. The first Listen. thing I thought about was playing BR on PC mm. and then playing the rest of it on console. The second that I play a COD anyway. in a flowing, 240 flat frames True. with with actual good support on a great platform like Battle.net, mm. I'm gonna be like this. Why hasn't COD always been like this? Because well, guess I, what? Can I plug in my controller? Yeah, yeah, of but course. You're just gonna, okay, then yes. You're get I'll play mad. on PC with my scuff controller. Use is, code hacks. The issue more though is that again, not. it's like you're that'll gonna, be tougher because you're gonna shit on. Yeah, you're gonna, you're is a shooting game before anything else. Yeah. Battle rate. Uh, Fortnite is not a shooting game before a building game. Like that's just the main difference. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, see, I've always been torn because I understand that PC can make a better game than than consoles can, yeah. and I understand that. But to me. The shooters, the I guess the big three are like COD, Halo, Gears of War. Yeah. They, I feel like those are always going to be console games because there's so many kids, like I was, that grow up and yes. they have consoles. Like that's what their parents get them for Christmas. That's what they get for their birthday because the parents are going to get them. Their parents are going to get like a 12 year old a two thousand dollar computer so that they can grind Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. Not they're going to get them the. Three hundred, four hundred dollar. Like, exactly, and console. so I feel like when 
when there, there's so many people out there that they play, like that's why that's why Fortnite blew up is because so many kids and so many college students they have access uh, to every game on their console. Yeah, they have a, they have a console somewhere lying around. That's where they watch their Netflix, and then they're like, oh, well, I guess Fortnite is cool. That's what everybody's playing. Yeah, and then it blew up. So that's why I think that COD should always be at, at least majority of the people should play on console because that's what it's always been. I think it will still be <coughs> console everything for competitive everything like that. Yeah. I'm yeah. Just saying, yeah. Yeah. If the game runs smooth on PC, I would rather play the Battle Royale especially yeah, yeah. on PC. Yeah. One thousand percent. Yeah. I don't, I I don't think I mean it, I mean I was just, I was just gonna say can can a console manage that amount, but I guess it can with proven with uh with Fortnite. All I know is I'm waiting for Fortnite on Switch to be announced and then travel days are changed forever. Could you imagine? Can you, like, yeah. Is that the my, only thing that it's not on? Yeah, yeah but my, my question is this, right? Are you going to be able to put a keyboard and mouse attached to to your Switch? Because if it is, then, then you're right. It has changed forever. But if you're playing like this, what's... Why I mean, not? It's just like mobile. Mobile, I mean... It's hard, bro. No, thank you. It'd be like you. playing with a controller, <laughs> like, I guess. Because the Switch controller is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's technically still... You're still playing a, a full-fledged game. I've seen a... a, a, a a, a half a quarter of a keyboard thing. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then it's like it's the size of a mouse and it's just WASD and then whatever's around it. That I can I can get behind on a switch. But playing the switch like this is there's no way I could play it. I, I couldn't be I wouldn't be able to do it. Huh? I was gonna say I just so got a switch that. and the screen is pretty, you play like pretty that? big. If I'm sitting in an I mean I'm not gonna play it at home, but if I'm sitting in an airport waiting for a delayed flight and you're telling me I could take out my 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 pro controller or whatever and sit there and just be like, and actually play some Fortnite, yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Get a few games in, drop tilted with the boys. With the boys? It's no big deal. We're getting on Fortnite, my bad. Yeah. Um, the, the stim pack, the, 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 the healing and multiplayer, it's uh, manual now with a couple second cool, a few second cooldown. Do you guys think that's good or bad? Here's where I think it becomes, becomes bad. There is a specialist or a perk that lets you use the stim and instead of it regening like normal, it instant full hails you. So you call out Davis as one shot in the hill. Davis has that perk on. Yeah. He's instantly full health again. And like, you play COD. We've always played COD in a certain way that like, you yeah. get that kill. There's also, to add into the health thing because this is a kind of a hot topic. There's also a, a in your pick ten now. There is a gear slot where you can select body armor, mm -hmm. which doesn't protect your head, but it gives you 50 more hit points to the body. So. It's like a it mini a juggernaut. Annoying. Yeah, it looked a little um, annoying. Like half the gameplays I watched, every other kill people were getting was on a guy with body armor. Now people yeah. were maybe testing it out or whatever, but you're getting more variables to health, which is definitely different or used to be more prevalent in earlier CODs where you'd have stopping power would make a difference in health because you would kill a bull quicker. Juggernaut. But it's bad day. because we always complained about those. Exactly. There was a Wait, reason those yeah. were removed. A ton of people complained about Juggernaut. Everyone under the sun complained about Painkiller. Um, I've been complaining about Juggernaut since 2006 and Painkiller and all that extra yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so now we have body armor and we have instant healing. And it it's something that it's like, maybe it's a concern, but as of now, I'm just happy that we're on the ground. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's going to be some annoyances, but there's always... I mean, if you think about how many annoyances were in Black Ops 3 and it still was a great game. Yeah. What annoy... Uh, bro, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> mind... If it was exactldly like Black Ops 3, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cared. Yeah, I know, Except for have, the wall run stuff. You have Heat Wave and you have... Those insta-kill specialists are pretty bad. Yeah, you like, have, like, different spikes. things. Spikes. They, they seem to have, like, tamed out the specialists a lot. Like, you still have the gravity spike guy, but it looks like it's much slower and, like, not just, like, boom. It looks like the uh, the Heat Wave guy is slower, too, because yeah. he was, like, he was, like, cranking like some a, shit it out like, of the ground. It looks what like they is. mixed, like, the Centurion with Heat Wave and, like, a Guardian from Black Ops 2. Like, now you place Heat Wave and it, like, slowly ticks and burns people mm -hmm. around them, it looked like. Yeah, and, yeah. dude, side note, you can, like, take your own health away to continue the burn. That's the burn, yeah. That's, that's, the, that, that's crazy. The, he sacrifices, like, his own health to... Like, for the team, Make I it, mean, like, go on longer or whatever. What that's the hell? crazy. They, uh, another thing, too, uh, that was cool, if you looked at the trailer, the guy used the gravity spikes, but then another specialist has, like, this impenetrable... Shield he can put up, so like yeah. everyone else dies in the hill, but this guy like saw him jump and like put up his shield and like he just eats the gravity spike and lives. Like it looked dope. That's yeah. cool. How do you feel about them uh, barricading entrances? Because that's that's Weird. something that's never ever ever been before. Imagine little Weird. Timmy up in a tower. He's got his little barbed wire out, and you gotta shoot that. You gotta shoot a clip and a half to get up to him. I don't know about that. Well, I think it's 
I think it's a, it's just a, a glorified or a, a creatively done claymore, Maybe. in my opinion. Like, because you can only use it in a sp on a certain class, you can only use it in certain doorways, and so and it you, takes up like probably your gear slot. Yeah, or whatever. it takes it. It'll take you three games on one map for you to know every single spot that a People possible, do. you know, barricade would be. I just uh, from oh. a, from a hard point standpoint, um, I don't know. I just don't don't see it working. Well, there a lot of that sh a lot of that stuff is probably going to be. Yeah, I feel they, like they're going to like... Yeah, G-Aid. Like, say, oh, we won't use it, that. To put it simply, like, every ladder that I went up in, in any game that had a Claymore, you went like this with the ladder and then went like that because you and knew there go. was going to be something there. And a bouncing Betty would pop up or a Claymore would go off yeah. and you'd be like, okay, now I'm here. And the guy up there would be like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd have to I'll gun him. But, <laughs> like, like that... Little Looking at it, I, I'm, not, I'm not too too worried about it. It's still funny though. Like another game that's come th that has their big announcement this week is Battlefield, Battlefield uh, Five. They're doing World of, War Two, right? The rumors are, and from the trailers that have come out, it's World War Two, and that does not get me excited right now. Nope. I'm, I'm tired of the World War Two games. War II. I was tired World War Two out before, and then Call of Duty World War Two was like that last, like okay. I want to see the dice people flex with a futuristic type thing. With, the power of Battlefield, those only experiences. I want to see that in the future again or in modern day. Like, that is where I want to see it go. Yeah. Um, mm. It hasn't but, been there yet. Yeah, or it, it I don't know if I've ever been, been like, excited for a Battlefield. Like, I've never... I the, There was one Battlefield that I played a lot, but that was the only one. Was Bad like, Company 2 was the popular one. Ba Battlefield yeah, 3 was one. huge. Yeah. Battlefield 1 you're talking about. I remember seeing Battlefield 3 and, like, literally being like, I'm more excited for this game than anything. But the the the, uh, the the PC server things were never like great. You would hop into like p servers that were like battlefieldservers.com. Come check us out because they were always like peer owned servers. So like you could buy them and host them, and like uh. you join in it, and it just it always felt like I wasn't actually playing the game to level up. It was like I'm just like hopping into random servers and yeah. like trying to get one that feels good and trying to join a massive game that is like my team's not getting destroyed and there's not 50 yeah, jets yeah. in the air. Like it never. I've never felt like I've gotten a true good gaming experience from the lobby standpoint out of a battlefield. And I'm hoping that changes for, yeah. the, for this one. But I agree with that. But now, I mean, there's another battle royale that could be announced this week with, with Battlefield. <clears throat> like, you're telling me Battlefield's wow. something yeah, you're doing a World geez, War II man. battle royale? A I'm battle trying to flex in that. I think that the thing you're going to see like a lot of AAA titles do BRs. <sighs> and I think it's we only are, good yeah. for BR. Like I think so too. The I more think... competition, the better it is for yeah, us. Think about Destiny. <clears throat> that Destiny is like primed for a battle royale with all the loots, with all the like the the exploration. Shit, uh, Borderlands is 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 primed for something like that too with that the exploration. Sick. You're telling me that. Almost every AAA developer Grand is not Theft cooking Auto. up something. Dude, I've been waiting for a Grand Theft Auto. Oh, like, since yeah. since before H1Z when I was like, GTA, come like, on. Like, GTA might as well already be. I mean, it kind of yeah. is. Yeah, exactly. But, like, <clears throat> and they have certain modes that, that is, like, last man standing, but it's not the same. Like, yeah. like it's just not the same. Flying in to... Like, a fake Los New York Santos? City. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and, 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 and if you're watching David Von Der Haar, please, please... Allow me to spend money, okay? Please. <laughs> let me customize my drop. Let me customize the, the parachute that I come down in. I want a Vaughn parachute. Make it, make, if, yeah. Imagine if, imagine if Blackout is, like, imagine if Blackout is free to play. That would be nuts. Like, if it was that separate game, yeah. I don't Bro, think it would we be. We haven't thought. Would, imagine if Blackout's for, you pay 60 bucks for, and, black, and it comes with Blackout, but you could also download Blackout. <laughs> like, if you don't want to play the multiplayer, you can just download Blackout. Yeah, that would—that's a possibility. So here's why I think that that is a possibility is because microtransactions have now surpassed season pass stuff, and they've yeah. good yeah, news and stuff like that's that. that's old news. To the point now where it's like there is more value in keeping players on your game to spend money on microtransactions like Fortnite does than anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fortnite can put up a hundred million dollars for their esports. Prize, prize money for the first year. Never before done. That's mind yeah, you. that's insane. Outflex the other top 18 games in 2017. Uh, they can do that in, 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 in eternity. Who who else has has come to the table 100 million dollars? Oh well, no, no. I'm saying okay, no. Okay. They literally, if you took the prize money for the last for the top 18 games in esports last year, Fortnite just announced the same amount. That's that had to have been a discussion. Well, yeah, I guarantee you they literally like this. They're like. How much money did we got off skins last month? <laughs> 225 million in revenue. All right. So if we do a hundred million for 
competition, we're good because we're going to make like $3 billion this year? Okay. It's insane. Add in two more legendary skins for this month's rotation, we'll be, we'll be fine. And you know who doesn't think that way? Dude. <laughs> Everyone but, else. But you know who doesn't think that way? The people that say they're about the money. Yeah. Okay, this, this is what I don't get. They say, like, Activision is, and, and, and all the other companies are all about the money, generating revenue, re yeah. but they're not about that. They, they pretend like they are about generating revenue, but the one thing that generates revenue, like literally printing money, they're not about, so they're not about their paper. I, I, I just think a lot of it comes down to <laughs> how, you, how, you look at, like, uh, how you look at the community, like what you do to make the community happy. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. When I see... Updates continually happening, and I see the life of the game continuing to evolve, and and e even down to the little things like Tilted now being patched back up, like that it's already has me excited it's for like what a, the future story. It's like a living, breathing thing, yeah. and yeah. and other game devs just don't. Ha I don't know if they don't have the resources or the creativity, but yeah. like those types of events and just changes that that something new that gets people playing, like yeah. Call of Duty needs it. Like it's, the old. Like, season pass, wait three months and you get four maps. Wait, one of them's a remake, just kidding. Like, you can't do that anymore. The DLC's yeah. got to be free, which is the rumor that it's going to be. It, it's 1,000% creativity. I, yeah. I, think, I think that that's where they, they've always won. I, I, can, I can bet you there's going to be some, some, uh, some extinction-level event that is not going to extinct the thing, but it's going to transport you back to the beginning of Fortnite where there's just the three towns for, like, a drop or whatever. Dude. Like, imagine you get to say... Right? In, in one year, you're going to get to say to brand new players that I played when, you know, Tilted was Tilted and there was uh, there Dusty was no Depot. There Tilted there, yeah. 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 Like, you don't remember Dusty Depot, bro. I was born there. Like, yeah. <laughs> zombies. Uh, zombies. Zombies is a thing. Well, let me tell you one thing. Because okay. in, in all of this, like, like we said, <clears throat> Call of Duty definitely coming out with a BR. Battlefield, probably BR. Um, the thing with all of this is I think Fortnite's going to be fine. Like, I think I it would be dumb to say that Fortnite is going to, something's going to kill Fortnite. Nothing's going to kill Fortnite. But if I was PUBG, I would be shaking in my fucking boots They've been right shaking now. for six months. They tried to sue uh, Fortnite, remember? No. They were like, that battle bus so, looking yeah. familiar, bro. I think they did. They did. I, I, th there was, I just there watched was a video some, about it yesterday. Oh, there, okay, so there was some sort of, you know, one developer wanted to sue another de sue another developer, but then the developer was like, "It's my engine." Bitch. They're just sad. Yeah. They're yeah. just sad that it's a portion of their sales each time. Every time PUBG makes a sale, a portion of it goes down. Well, and two to like public their engine. to yeah. publicly how, do how that? Crazy is that. That is. It's like, yeah, you got great. Congrats, you guys have been successful. You know, they give the guy in the courtroom. You know, they give the guy in the courtroom. He goes like this. <laughs> Yeah. That, that, that's like, Fortnite, thick, whatever. Thicker, epic. thicker than oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's literally <laughs> just like the Dota and, and Valve. And thing. The, the only time I'll be excited, the, the most I'll be excited for another VR game is if, and I'm sure at this point it's when Blizzard gets involved on their end. When when when, when Activision Blizzard on yeah. Battle.net shows off. Because Blackout? Is that you, what you're talking about? No, no, no. Or you mean like just, an actual no, like Blizzard a Blizzard made. like. Oh. Because you know that they're somehow waiting in the wings. Like they, they've pulled, so, so this is all public stuff. When they go to release, so so like there's like the certain teams at Blizzard, like teams one, two, three, four, and they're the ones who develop the different games. World of Warcraft, Team One, whatever it is. Um, they have been pulling off the top people from their games that have already existed to work on secret project, a secret project at Blizzard for the last you know year now, <laughs> where they're pulling their big wigs that have like and made you know, their biggest thing, and they're like, and it, maybe it's not a VR, but. There's something getting cooked. There always is a Blizzard. And for me, I don't think Blizzard is going to be like World of Warcraft BR or Overwatch BR. It's going to be a brand new title, and it's going to be a BR. And there's going to be... It's going to be the most colorful shit. <laughs> but then at the same time, isn't it like the most Blizzard thing ever, like, to just use all those characters they have? Yeah, like, yeah I was going to say... They literally made a MOBA like... and were like this. We have 3,000 characters that we can use at our disposal. Let's just make a MOBA... Constantly releasing characters, like think of that. Here's the storm has been releasing updates with characters, and they're still like nowhere near even scratching the surface of who they can add in from their own IPs. Like yeah. they, they can just keep going with that forever. Now, granted, I would rather it be its own unique thing, a completely different style to what Blizzard knows. Yeah. Just because at the end of the day, it's Blizzard. Like, you throw that in there, you throw them into the hat, bro, and they're immediately like, We've got a contender here, folks. Like, simple as that. They've yeah. learned from the mistakes, I think, of entering the MOBA scene with Heroes of the Storm. And the way they did that, because it obviously hasn't been successful yeah. in regards to breaking into that. But 
they go and look at it again for 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 a br and <laughs> that get, that's where i'm excited will i try the other ones will i play about the one for sure but once Blizzard gets into the fray, man. My, my, my fear right now, and I've never had this fear before. I've always been a Call of Duty junkie. That's my thing. My fear right Same. now is that if we were, if, if Black Ops 4 was being released tomorrow, like, I don't, feel, I, don't, I don't feel like I need to get on there to play, to learn the maps, to learn the weapons. You know, but I do have this, like, urge to be better at, at the current game that I'm playing. And I suck so bad that I just, I, 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 I want so bad to be good. You know, so I don't know if, if, if I'm there or I'm ready to, to say bye to this colorful thing. If I didn't have a history in COD, you I don't you? know. Yeah. I don't know if I would be hopping on the game if it was released tomorrow. Like, I, I have played so many CODs now where I know, like, <clears throat> do I get hyped for the first double XP weekend that grind pubs with friends? Yeah, but after that, I'm like, wait, why does my pub rank matter? Yeah, I'd like, I've like, never play competitive. I, I don't remember the last time I played pubs, man. I only played game battles. That's it. Yeah. Joining That's up with like Maven, fun. who's probably already had a, a few a few alcoholic beverages. Like, yeah, <laughs> ordering in like some food, and just knowing that I can just like mindlessly stop people and have good conversations with friends. That is awesome at the launch of a COD. Obviously, that allure then goes away when you start going sixty and fifteen every. Few games, you're like okay, well, this is. This is I want to play something it's more competitive. Never done it, so you go. That's true. Yeah. That's why, maybe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, but I have made you rage quit. So you, you were you were dominant, Hector. Wow, what a special. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Did you see the clip of me when he said <laughs> league play? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You screamed up your lungs. Yeah. Sorry, headphones users that watched that. I'm gonna get kicked out of my apartment. But like, definitely, I don't know, man. Maybe I just trust Treyarch too much. And I think, like, competitive could be weird with all this, like, healing thing. Also, you got, we didn't even mention it, but there's a grenade recharge now. So it's not just spawn up, toss a nade at the hard point, and hope you get a kill. Like, you have to think about your nades now. And, like, they've added a lot of layers to it that I think could make competitive good. But, yeah, I don't like going, like, 30 and 1 in free fraud anymore as much. Like, I just, I like the competitive aspect. I'll definitely play Blackout, but... I don't know about pubs, but I've been mm. off pubs for like a while. They it's crazy. It's crazy that it it's crazy the, the, the way of this podcast right now that we're doing this, and, and so much has happened since the Black Ops Four reveal that I, like I keep on going back to this like other thing they got announced that we talked about the hundred million dollar announcement for that. Oh yeah. Because yeah. I have so much to say about that, so that's gonna have to be a different podcast. But I, just just throwing it out there, so it's a snippet to to what the future of the of the podcast. Is. As a competitive player, okay, as a retired competitive player, think of Shroud. Do you see a hundred million dollars, and then you're just like, I, I have been in calls with all sorts of people in the competitive scene that I know and love, even to like Nade, Big T. Like, there are people that are considering. You're telling me right now. Let's say they do fifty million for PC, twenty-five for PS4, twenty-five for Xbox. I'm let's getting just, an let's Xbox just, controller. Let me just, let me just say something outright, and this is this one hundred million dollars for this next year is twenty-five CWL seasons of prize money. 25 years That's insane. of CWL prize money in one season. Yeah. You're telling me right now yeah. that if they announce $50 million worth for PC, $25 million worth for PS4, that not only is an organization like Optic picking up a PC team, but also you're Xbox telling me that there's team. not interest to have Seth Scumpy Abner lead a PS4 division. You get Seth on a PS4 division with a controller in his hand, <clears throat> That's, that's, that, we'll, we'll finish that, that that's thought. That's a whole other thing. Let's move on to zombies. 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 It's something that... $300,000 a day. No, it's, it's $2 million a week in prize money that they could do. That's they crazy. Could do, they could do it. $300,000 a They could do a bigger event than Cow Champs every week for the next year. Um, but let's go back to zombies. Okay. So, um, <laughs> on a game that has a spectator. Okay, that has yeah. spectators. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Zombies. Let's hit it. Uh... New storyline. Uh, what the hell was that? It was a that whole. That was dope, bro. I don't <laughs> it know. It was sick, but I have no idea what I watched. So it was I like the either. whole backstory because I never played. Well, there's zombies. no. This is the thing about like this is like Black Ops zombies ended in Black Ops Three. So that whole storyline, Rick Finn, all that stuff is done. So now Black Ops Three, although it looks like kind of crazy, like they were drinking some Kool Aid, they transformed to like Spartacus. I don't know what happened, yeah. but like, yeah. it's yeah. a brand new like storyline now. So, so you don't like all the. I would always get lost in like, okay, well, what's this character mean, and why is that a big deal? What's the Easter egg? Yeah. Like, now it's. 
they're probably gonna have a bunch of that stuff and it's gonna be deep but it's like starting with all new people okay so it's kind of like a clean slate so have there been because you, you guys have to tell me because i haven't played i've never played zombies ever now that i think about it um like what is there a storyline to zombies yes yeah, so yeah. black ops the black ops 3 one was like an eight year built out storyline from when they first announced zombies from when they first had them that's why it was so big like Right. They literally had a DLC release on Black Ops 3 of just the Zombie Chronicles. Like, of Zombies wow. took up more of a player base than people even realized. Like, yeah. I would argue that Zombies almost pulled more views on YouTube Dude, yeah, than like, just search anything YouTube. at, like, pub right. stopping and, if you have and questions. stuff like that. Like, yeah. I remember watching, because Zombies, and this, people did like it and, and hated it. But zombies became, a, basically... You didn't play Zombies to live. It was play Zombies to do the Easter egg. Yeah. Like, Easter yeah. egg hunt. That's all it became. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, and people, a lot of people liked that, a lot of people hated it. Um, to the point where the Easter eggs were so built out, Davis, that like half the time in the Easter egg race, people's PlayStations and like crash. Xboxes would crash because of how much shit was going on. Like if you've ever watched one, I was like, the floors were on fire, you're doing puzzles, you're doing stuff <laughs> in CODs that you're like, this is a COD game because it's yeah. so crazy that the PS4 couldn't even handle it. It was yeah. blue screen. Like I watched Noah with like, 50,000 plus live viewers blue screen as he was like Dude. about to be the first, world's first and he freaked out. Um, I would have imagined that. I would have I, I done too. And, and, and the, the AI, you, you got to think about like the amount, the amount of like thousands of zombies in line. Okay, this is the first wave. This is the second wave. Oh, here comes the, the building crashing down. Here comes the lava. Here comes the bus that has to pick you up to the... Yeah. It's impossible, bro. I can't... Too much for my brain to handle. <laughs> it is a lot. Like that's... I, like I'll play the zombies maps a little bit and I'll be like oh it's really cool like I like the vibe but like number one I'm trash number two like I don't understand what the hell's going on so yeah. I'm hoping that like with this fresh start I'll at least have like an idea of what the hell's going on I think if you remember the leaks when there was all the leaks coming out about Black Ops 4 because there always is one of the leaks said like there, there's going to be no campaign because there was a meeting and the campaign ideas from Treyarch were so far fetched with time travel and, yada yada and this stuff and they were just like yeah. just don't do it just don't even do it. It's too much. Like, let's just get away from that. I feel like this is, like, we're seeing that time travel, like, in zombies. Like, yeah. it looks like there's going to be that thing yeah. that they go and they get and you plug something into it and it transports you to that area. Like, they showed yeah. them in, in literally, like, Spartacus Roman times. Yeah. And then they showed nuts. them on the Titanic. That was like, crazy. Like, I love yeah. that stuff. I don't know. I that, like They, the like, had swords at first, and then they had guns. It seems like they're... It's so good. It seems like these are the zombie defenders of the universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, the, the, the one dude ones. with his fists. The one <clears throat> huge yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's a dope Those way to look Shriver. at it. Those Liv Shriver. I didn't look it up, but I think it was. That, it's a dope way to look at it. That, that guy literally just, like... It's a, it's a completely unique look. Like, they probably were like, oh, wait... What if we experiment with it not all being guns? Like, that guy literally just punches the zombies and kills them. That gif, that, that's like a gif now, like a popular gif of when yeah, the guy's that. walking into the room and punches the dude Boom. upside the head and he, like, backflips into the wall because it's, like, it's like, such a powerful punch. Like, people use that now on Twitter like me. name, yeah, name the guy that gets punched, whatever you don't like. Damn. I think, too, like, I don't know if you guys ever played it from Black Ops 2, Mob of the Dead, the zombie snaps that's in, like, the prison. Yep. They're redoing that called Blood of the Dead, and I'm hyped for that because that's one of my favorite zombie maps of all time. Like, I've played all the zombies, but I don't, like, super get too into it. Also, I did see, you can, if you don't have any friends, like me, who play, <laughs> <laughs> you can have, like, AI, the other, like, three characters are AI. And they they're actually trying to, wow. they're like, trying to build out. Like, that's nutty, dude. That is yeah. really cool. They realize that, like, one of their biggest failures, I think, so far with zombies is keeping more than just the most diehard zombies fans excited yeah. about zombies. Like, yeah. they announced already, like, this far in advance, like, daily, like, dailies almost. Like, get on, do this, get this challenge, you know, do this stuff. They want people to be invested in zombies. They're doing three things they set off the release, like, three yep. different playable things. Like, yep. as you mentioned, Blood of the Dead, the actual zombie story. Yep. Um, yeah. It's crazy. Like, is zombies... I feel like, did you notice how many times they said zombies was just an Easter egg in World War, 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 War. Yeah. and now? That's seriously yeah. what it was. Yeah, well, yeah but, well, do you, was like, but they're putting an emphasis on the fact that it's its own thing now. Yeah. But do you, yeah. do you think that they're like, this is our shit? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. it's cute that everybody else is doing it, yeah. but we're Treyarch, we do this oh, shit. Well, you're I think you're like, insane if you don't think like, Activision went to the, uh, like, Activision went to the other developers and were like, you, you're doing a zombies mode, like, but, but, but you're yeah, doing a zombies mode. Exactly. Like, like that's no how more, much of the player base it takes. No more out. dinosaurs. You need to have zombies. Yeah, and no like more even, aliens. I mean, what's true also is because the other like modes that like uh, that came out like with Modern Warfare Three, like the horde mode, like that just wasn't fun or wasn't the same. Yeah. 
t like type of fun that zombies is. That. Like zombies has Jeez. like its own like nerd culture, not nerd culture, but like its own like subculture. I don't think nerd is like a a, a derogatory name or thing no, anymore. Being, being nerdy is cool. You now. embrace it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but there was a time. There was a time when being an, I in grew the nineties. Yeah, I grew up at a time when being a nerd was not cool. Yeah, we didn't have a hundred million dollars. Yeah, we Yo, didn't you know what's crazy million. is that Pomage tweeted something out, uh, and I was like, damn, that is true. He's like, he tweeted out. Uh, we played video games before they were cool or something like that. Really? And then you think about it, it's like, how cool are video games now that, like, it's... We'll yeah. talk about Pomash in front of us. <laughs> oh. Not in front of me and him. Yeah. You guys got played, huh? No, no, no. Nah. <laughs> I hope that Canadian I, can't, I can't believe you shot you, but, right? You uh, shot your rap. But, no, it's, it's, so, it's, it's crazy. And, it, and, again, like, people like, people like Ninja transcend the space. Like, yeah. that, that, that will be a moment that will be looked at for, for Dude, yeah, that's like in gaming history, like rooted. It's just, it's just the god's honest truth. Zombies, though, does look Looks interesting. Cool. <laughs> we don't know enough about How it. How hard is that? I'll try it. Dude, for uh, optic plays, imagine like Hector, like you got like trying to figure, trying out, to to figure out the Easter egg. Trying to do like that. Zombies <laughs> lost me when I had to turn on the electricity. That's all I know. When I had to start turning on electricity to activate teleporters, I was like this. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Man, I, 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 can, like, I don't I would, do drugs, but I'm not high enough for I this would, shit. <laughs> I, would, I would watch uh, Ego, Big Timer, and somebody else play it, and I'd be like, that looks so cool. I'm going to go play it. And it wasn't. It, just, yeah. it was just it's not like, for me. Well, yeah, it's because I could never like get the hang of like, wait, so I'm looking for an invisible item, pressing square everywhere to do a sound of oh. something that of a character that I don't even remember what the hell they did. Like, I just never got deep into it. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm gonna get deep into it this year, but definitely like I'm a, I'm at least excited for a little bit of a refresh. Yeah, I might mess around. And I'll time travel like once in a while. I might accidentally press it once. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> but you're going to catch me in blackout and in league play. You know the gif of like the girl looking at all the long division or whatever? <laughs> like, that's me that was, every yeah. time I'm playing zombies. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, I'll, uh, maybe I'll touch zombies. I'll touch it. You'll try it? When, uh, you have to at least try Blow the Dead. Like that is probably the most simplified one that will be on No, on definitely. When Maven and I were at, um, were at Sledgehammer, like uh, advanced of the game, helping with Codcaster and stuff uh, when they brought us out, we play a, the developer build where you have to do certain things to even access the game, like in regards to the developer consoles. And uh, we're obviously just there for Codcaster, but Maven and I are sitting there and we're like, no one else is in the room. We see the, the zombies tab, so I'm like, <laughs> it's like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> we like scroll over, like I <laughs> click zombies. NBA, I'm like, it's fine. I should do it. And he's like, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> click into it, crashes the build. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the guy comes in and we're like, it glitched out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something happened. Something happened. I remember. I remember being there, and from the like the first day to the second day, we were in headquarters in the the developer mode. And on the second day, we had gone in. They had just tried for the first time this supply drop falling from the sky. And I remember Maven and I both being like, "Yo!" Because that was the first time we realized like people could watch you open it. Like, yeah, that was so sick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just, we crashed it. We crashed that thing so like so many times. We're trying to access stuff we definitely weren't supposed to. You know how AW had zombies for the first time outside of Treyarch? Yeah. So I was at a uh, sledge visiting before AW, and they showed us like supply drops or whatever. And then they're like giving us a tour of the studio as we walk into like the art room. And this girl's got this gigantic zombie head like fleshed out on her screen. She turns around. She's like, "Hi guys, I'm working on zombies." And the person like touring us was like. <laughs> they weren't supposed, supposed to, to see that, and they Damn. were like, "Come on, guys, just you're, you don't tell anybody. You can't tell anybody." Damn. And and we signed NDAs. I thought this was messed up, but a lot of the YouTubers that were there, they didn't say what they saw, but they all made kind of weird coincidental videos, like <laughs> zombies question mark. Like it was super wow. obvious. I know I, I didn't do that. For <laughs> what they did, but they well, pretty much everyone did. But I was like, I'm not chancing it, bro. I signed that. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. So excited about zombies. Uh, as excited as I probably could be. Yeah, Hitch? same. I'm excited for other people who love zombies. Yeah. Because it same. looks really, really cool. I hope that, um, one thing that I always did play was, uh, the top-down Dead Ops Arcade. I hope Dead Ops Arcade is back in, because that was really fun. That was like a free add-on. I add -on. never played like, How crazy that. is that? What is that? Like, that was the... That was a that was like a just a free add on essentially. Yeah. What game is that? It in? was Black Ops. 3. Black Ops. 2 it's so and hard 3. to be a YouTuber. Oh, I'm I know thinking, what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thinking about like how hard it is to. I and mean, I don't know how people are gonna be like, oh, it's the easiest thing, but to to be a creative YouTuber nowadays. Like I remember making a video on Secret 
you know, mode and, and that. And I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm like, I could not be asked to do that in this day and age. Yeah. Like to 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 go in and, and, and dissect and, and go. I just I just couldn't. Right, let's move on to our favorite topic of Fortnite. 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 <laughs> no, Battle Royale. Um, Battle Royale. So we have a black blackout is uh, is the announcement. Oh. Uh, how psyched. Uh, Vonderhaar was uh, Dude, during, yeah. during the announcement. Yeah, it makes me happy. Got me hyped. Really yeah. dumb, but I had goosebumps. I was like, because I. Bro, we we all did. Remember? I, we looked at each other. We're like, this yeah, is my cool. brother was like, bro, I'm getting I'm getting the chills. I'm like, I'm getting goosebumps. I look at because we watched it. I invited you. You didn't want to come. Dude, yeah, I wanted to stream. I was like, yeah. I gotta, you invited I gotta, me too. I got stream. So so I invited. Also, I didn't know where you lived, and yeah, I didn't want to try to figure it out because it was like starting in like 15 minutes, and I was like, I don't even know where Hector. All right, so I invited everybody to come out to to the to the house. Uh, to watch the reveal in the theater room so we can record everybody's reactions, everybody can get some content and do all that. Uh, my, my whole purpose going in there was knowing that I, I knew that I was going to hear it, that there was going to be a battle royale. If yeah. I had heard that there was no battle royale, I would have been like, all right, so Call of Duty 4 is my th Modern Warfare Remastered and, and Fortnite are my games and, and Minecraft. And that's, it. and that's what it is. Um, do people play Modern Warfare Remastered still? Dude, I yeah. low-key before the Black Ops hype, like I was like, I miss playing that. I want to go play that. Like... I liked MWR mostly just because I really liked COD Four. Okay, so before getting before yeah. we're going back, it was, my, go. it, was my, it was my fault. Bro, I'll go off. <laughs> yeah, it was, that, that was my fault. But um, I, I went in there expecting to hear it. If I wouldn't have heard it, I would have been massively, massively, uh, massively disappointed. Yeah. But when they said your friends are dropping, I'm like they're dropping, and then they have like the thing there. Yeah. I look at Jack, I high five him, and from there, like I'm still getting the chills. The, well, the way he said. <sighs> They picked the perfect person on the to largest, do the map we've ever, where yeah. you guys, where it's greatly, what do they say, great, fifteen thousand times 15, the size of Nuketown, yeah. or fifteen hundred. I just made that up. But. but he said, he said, like, it, there's parts of the map that greatly resemble your favorite maps. Mm -hmm. And when he said that, I was like, oh, Vaughn Vaughn is a cop franchise. He is, man. Yeah. That no he, one has outlasted Vaughn. Yeah. Vaughn through everything, all the politics that I know happens behind closed doors. And yes. how, how he is, a, if you've met Vaughn, he's a pretty upfront guy of like, yes. he'll just tell you how it is. I <laughs> told a story in my vlog today. Yeah. Because uh, we were talking about, I was talking about blackout, blackout, and, and the first time that I met Vaughn, I was sitting behind him at the at Machinima Inside Gaming Awards, and, it, and I was talking to Mark Lamia, who was sitting right next to him, and then this guy comes and sits down, and I'm like, and I kind of knew that that was David Vonderhaar, right, like the mythical creature, David Vonderhaar. Dude, yes. And and I wanted to make sure I'm like, I'm like, uh, excuse me, who are you? He's like, I'm David Vonderhaar. Who the fuck are you? No bullshit. <laughs> and any other person in the world would have been like, wow, rude. But I was like, man, this dude is something dude, else. Dude, he's <laughs> that literally night, that. Night, I was like, I was like, I, I'm like, I'm like, hey man, I'm like, I'm like, chill man. I was just want to see if you, if you were who I, th who you, th who I thought you were, and you are. <laughs> For the rest of the night, we hung out, we we talked, we had a couple of a couple of drinks. I, I took a picture of him and um, and Grizz because at the time he was going through that 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 splash. He was he was getting splashed from Josh Olin's comments on sniping. Oh. Or, or something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. and everybody. I made a video about Josh Olin talking shit about snipers, and then everybody else, and then, and, and then he was getting a little, he, yeah, he was getting a little, uh, a little hate for that. So yeah. I understand the the reason that he adds or the way that he did. Yeah. Um, but we we became uh, we became cool with each other a after that, and ever since then I've I've had like this this sort of fan, uh, inter like fan them I guess towards Vaughn because he's so upfront that I've only met a few people in this world who literally tell you how it is like you were going with yeah. that. But all right, continue on. He's that's just seriously. Who the how he fuck is. Are you? But like, <laughs> Vaughn is Vaughn, and putting him in charge of that like what could be the biggest you know that this could be the next zombies for COD that every game now has a BR or whatever you know mm -hmm. like. Putting yeah. him in charge of that, one, there's no other person in Activision that they would have rather had, but like two, yeah. like, if you've been to an event and Vaughn's there, you see he's got his security. Yeah. Like they have that Dude, for, every, yeah. for all those top people, but like, at the end of the day, Vaughn is a billion dollar entity for Activision. Like, he is the billion dollar he's, Like, if Vaughn was like, this behind. shit sucks, peace, like, everyone would be like, Cod's dead. Like, yeah. that would be That's, the thing. Like, imagine Vaughn right now going and starting up his own thing to rival Cod, you're telling me that like that's doing not some, people be like some Vince Whoa. Zampella stuff. Yeah, yeah. Titanfall. Yeah. Um, yeah, but but uh, on the Vince Zampella topic, a lot of respawn people that left original uh, IW Infinity Ward are going back to. Uh, they're going back. Yeah. They're already back. No, I'm, I'm excited for what IW has next. The rumor is that it's Modern Warfare Four, four which totally well, I mean, makes that's sense. That's not like 
I mean, it is a rumor, but I don't think I think it's everybody. It's just like it would only make sense. Yeah, like you. Have, I feel like I, I feel like anytime any sort of those announcements get made, I feel like somebody on Reddit with Dude. their tin caps, like pretending to know like what's happening behind the scenes and just like wishing. Here's them. here's here's what I here's how I think this all went down. Right? They tried to do a new, a new IP with Infinity War. Mm-hmm. Shit. Infin- Infinite Warfare. Infin- I, mean, I don't even know. <laughs> Comes out not not its most successful thing. There's obviously the history of what has happened in regards to the exit of those certain people from IW yep. to over to Respawn. Yep. Obviously, Titanfall hasn't been the success that it's been. And it's one of those things where everyone kind of, I think everyone kind of, it's like they walk into a coffee shop and they all see each other like, hey, how things been? <laughs> yeah, like, we, should, we should catch up. I and they're all like you. this, like, the courtroom guy. <laughs> 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 you try to come back and build the biggest game again? And they're yeah. like, Get us the fuck out of here, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we remember the lunchroom. Like, the lunchroom at IW is the greatest. And, like, the kitchen, they have a full, like, you go to CVS and there's all those candy bars and gum, gum and everything. They have that in, in, in IW. Bro, they have, they have cereal full, full fridge. dispensers. It's the greatest thing ever. Like, I would work at IW as the janitor just to have access to that kitchen. They have a ping pong table, bro. And that's how I think it's going. It's like, let's all just kind of forget that happened. We'll give us yeah. another go. And now they're like the more mature. We've all grown. All well, I'm I saying noticed... is that if 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 like you the way you guys got goosebumps for Black Ops Three, like I'm or Black Ops Four, I'm super excited about that. But if I heard the oh, that thing, the if I heard that, <laughs> no, you know what would make it even better? Davis hears that, and then I don't know where all he sees this. The jet, the jet. <laughs> <laughs> Modern I don't know it. it shows you them out of nowhere. And, and like the, out of nowhere, the character's like hovering in the air, like, what? Like, <laughs> even James would be so <laughs> tilted. But I'll, I was saying, if, if it if it was just the, the like, you know what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about, yeah, and yeah. then it did the Dude, Modern Warfare the sound, vision. and there's a four there, I, no. you would see a different me. You know how you get day. me amped? Is if it does that, and then at the end, it like, of the multiplayer trailer, all, like, so what, what MW2 did best, and I get chills again thinking of it, it's called a stinger I learned after my time of working at Activision Blizzard because I was like, you guys need to do those again. What trailer, it? it's what, basically it's what Marvel does at the end of every movie, every trailer. Oh, yeah. The, the logo appears. Do you remember the Avengers Infinity War? Yeah. Like, burr, 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 goes to black. Who the hell are you? Thor with the first time seeing Guardians and everyone got excited. Yeah. Like, oh. in MW2, there was three or four distinct ones. One was the tomahawk, the guy getting tomahawked at the uh, at the top of the cliff on uh, the... Summit. Yeah, yeah. No, not Summit. No, it was the, from the, the campaign. The, the desert map. Yeah, no. Whatever that was. Afghan. Afghan. Oh, uh, yeah. Where, uh, where he throws his tomahawk at him. The other one was the sticky, where they were on high rise, and they both popped yep. up on the printer. Four zero two. And he two. sticks them. Um, there was, there, they had stingers at the end of each trailer that you'd be like, yo, did you see the stick after it? Yeah. I can't believe If they go back to that for, for MW2... And then, like, the last thing is all you hear is, like, you see the guy, like, take out his thing, click, and it's like, burn it, burn it. Oh, my God. Oh, like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. You got me locked in. Yeah. You got yeah, me yeah, locked yeah. in. Like, you bring me back a nuke, uh, give me something for that to push for it, something yeah. that I'm actually excited about. It's got to be 30 kills, though. Bro, ma- no, yeah. I don't, at, at this point, I don't care how easy it is to get or hard it is to get. I, I, I'd rather a cracked out MW2, <laughs> noob tubes flying, flashy as shit, nukes getting dropped, yeah. me getting pissed at... Triple X lever 37 is tactical insertion. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Give me that craziness back. You know what? In, 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 all, my, in all my years of imagining uh, a, a Call of Duty Battle Royale, it, it has always been in, in, in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare format. So the M40, the, the R700, the, the Barrett, like that. I, I never really imagined it, and, and it just hit me, right? Because there's so many Call of Duties, and then you, you're talking about the nuke and all that. It, it hit me that it may not be what I imagined this whole time or what I've been wishing for this whole time. I'm still going to like it because it's Call of Duty, and that's, that's, I, I love it. But, you know, in, in my time, in my, in my brain, it's, it, it was always that, that Infinity War, Infinity Ward, um, Call of Duty 4 setting where you... you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. So what do you, what do you think? What do you, what do you like? Tell me one, one thing. Okay, one thing that you're that, that if you had a choice that has to be in Battle Royale, and then I'll give you guys a moment to think about in it. In the COD VR? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you guys a second one and I'll tell you mine. I mean, or maybe I'll, I'll just tell you guys mine right now while, while you guys are. I think that if they can bring back, uh, you don't know what sort of bolt, you don't know what sort of bolt rifle you're picking up. It's either scoped or unscoped, and you won't know until like you you pick it up. 
maybe there's a possibility for you to pick up different scopes the way that you find scopes in, in, in pub battlegrounds. Like, I don't know what sort of attachments they, they, they do, but I do want there to be a, a clear distinction between, you know, a, a scoped uh, sniper rifle and a non-scoped. Uh, sniper rifle. Wait, so you want the PUBG, like, get the red dot sight for your mm, ACR? To be honest, I just thought about that, so no, I, I, yeah. I take it back. I don't I want don't, that there. I don't like that either. No, that's, what, that's what slows down PUBG. Mm -hmm. There was a point in Fortnite when it was getting announced that there was going to be stuff like that, and everyone freaked out. That was, like, back in November. And mm -hmm. they were like, they literally had to come out with a PR post saying, we're not adding attachments. We like, were we just get it. We get it. Not to do it. Um, I, I tweeted about this yesterday. Like, Terrorizer tweeted, uh, like, I, I apologize to people on YouTube, but this is the first time that I've had a game that I sign on to, and I'm excited to play with friends every day in regards to Fortnite. And I replied, and I was like, yeah, like, 100% agree. Like, every other game always had one little thing wrong with it. Like, takes too long to get in lobbies. Uh, you know, doesn't update enough. Like, isn't, it, it doesn't always feel new. Isn't flashy. Fortnite just has all of that. Like, literally, I can experience something new in every game. Right. I need that for Blackout. Week, I need that for Blackout. Much. I need that for Blackout where, like, mm -hmm. like it's dope that even now you still see these Twitter clips every day. Like, yep. you can literally make a living off of Fortnite clips. Dude, that is true. yes, you can. <laughs> Sorry, let's, let's, let's keep on topic because I just saw like, the amount of stuff that I see on a daily basis, brand new stuff that I see on a daily basis. Yeah. Like, some dude dropping down and, and setting up, uh, like, dropping down and setting up walls, 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 and then ramp. Yeah. Like, from, from up, uh, let's go. Let's, 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 let's focus. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. So you want to be able to drop in and, and experience need, something I just need, new. I just need new. a reason why I should be excited every every game I get in. Yeah. A reason why even when I'm in a 4v1 at the end of a game, I can say, hey, I'm going to build to the sky and try to 720 no-scope a guy. Because even that thought of a 1% chance of that hitting is enough for me to be like, I should still care about this 4v1 where there's a guy hiding in a bush, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, the fact that I can do that, it's not just like, oh, well, <clears throat> if, I, if you're telling me in COD all I can do is just shoot at the guy and kill him? Like, no. I want to be able to fucking do stuff. No yeah. yeah, there's well, got to be, like, some cool stuff. I, I, just, I just think it's not really, like, a mechanic or anything, but I just think it needs to be as fast as possible. Because that is, that is why PUBG... That, or that's why PUBG is so, like... Whack. Yeah. yeah. It's just so slow. Yeah. And that's why Fortnite... That's, like, the biggest advantage of Fortnite is that you'll see these build battles, or you, you'll see, like, if four, people, if four people land in the same building, one is coming out. And yeah. it's not, nobody's sitting in a corner, nobody's waiting. With, I mean, people will wait with shotguns, but for the most part, you're breaking down shit and a lot of stuff is happening all at once. And that's like the cool part. Whereas in PUBG, people land in their buildings and they stay there until they have to move. Um, and, and the thing with, um, like the thing with COD, if you, if you put everything in COD that makes COD what it is, mm -hmm. like, like fast pace, like you could turn around, you could get a three piece. If you land somewhere or if you spawn somewhere or however it works and you hear people around you and you grab an ACR or you grab an M8 or a UMP or something and you can get a three piece, that, that is what's going to be awesome. Stuff like that. Like, or if you're in a, imagine like, imagine... If you're in a 1v4 situation and you get a two-piece, like, in just a regular, uh, like, league play game, you're like, holy shit, I could 1v4 this. Imagine playing 20 minutes of a BR and you're in a 1v4 and get the first two. Imagine how much adrenaline is going to happen to 1v4 for a BR win. Like, over and over and over like, and over. that yeah. shit would be, like, that is where it's like, oh, my God, like... There's still going to be a space for Fortnite because it has its it, it's monopolized. Yeah, Fortnite's its own, its own thing. deal, dude. That's but what makes. As it you don't think as Fortnite's fast enough? I, I think I think it's, it's like just if they speed it up a tiny little bit more, I think that we're like right right in the that? sweet spot. What was that? Oh, I think I think the, it was like crazy. Blitz. Blitz, I think yeah, no, because I think like the meta for Fortnite hasn't even. I don't think we've even. Like, imagine three years from now, people are still playing Fortnite. Imagine the builds, like. It can only get faster just off of its player base. Like, you don't have to make it faster. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but for as far as it's monopolized the third-person cartoony yeah. BR. Like, I don't even think... I'm ready, yeah. I don't even think anybody else should even try it. Yep. But for the, the first-person shooter, like, fast-paced BR is still up in the air. Because PUBG can be taken over like that. The same way H1 was just blown over. Like yeah. I, I think, I think that if I was PUBG, I don't know what I would do, but you got to do something. There's a and reason you, why Activision paid Shroud to co-stream. 
oh, the yeah. COD Black Ops 4 yeah. reveal. Like, because he's the biggest streamer outside of Ninja, especially in PUBG. Like, and he doesn't, even, Shroud doesn't even play Fortnite that often. Like, he just plays Rarely. But PUBG. the times that I did play with him, like, he's the only, like, his chat always joked that he's the only player that was, he, his build wasn't good, he barely built, but his shot was that it's, good that it, that it literally, that you're the same boat. That you're the same. Very close. What was the RNG? As like, Shroud? It, makes, it makes shooting, like, <laughs> even if you're really good, like, you can be, level, you can yeah. be good at shooting in Fortnite, but, like, the, there's still RNG with the shots. That's the one thing that, like, really irks me about it. So I'm, like, I'm curious to see what Call of Duty's version of that is going to be, because yeah. if you think about it, like, Call of Duty, Dude, it survives oh on God. that, like, perfect, like, I shot him and he died. I, I need to see it now, Ashley. I know, it me could too. Be, like, I need more. Imagine you're in a 1v4 and you have two stuns and a nade that you've looted and a kitted out ACR. How about this? You can get two. What if you had an RC car or a helicopter or some type of kill streak Damn, assistance? Damn, that's sick. Like, what if you had a Predator missile yeah. and you just Predator missile the last How do guy? you, now here's, here's storm, I guess, I, now think about this, what, what is it? Is it? Do you get loot out of chest and several things pop out? Did you see in the do, beginning of the trailer where they're looking in that crate? Yeah. I yeah. think that's what the it would crate. be like. The it crates? Like this big crate, he's like looking for junk. So like maybe there's those little crates all around the-, the I think there's gonna be kill streaks too though. I, I, I do be. want that. I do want that. I do yeah. want it too. I think Imagine if you have a silencer. Dude, yes. Oh my like like God. a silence. Like from like the back, like from Galil? like you're out in the field or something like that. You're playing. Imagine the M4, up. the M4 whistle from uh, Call of Duty 4, uh, well, Call of Duty Remastered. It's like it's like it's got a very distinct whistle. It's like, mm -hmm. psh, 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 yeah. Psh, imagine bro. you're like out in the field. You see the, the team running out of the zone. You're by yourself. You throw a stun at him. None of them have picked up tack mask yet, so they're standing there like this. You pop out with your silence gun, t -t -t two dead. They have no idea where it fucking came from. You throw yeah. your nade, blow up one. Next thing you know, swap your sniper, 360, no scope. <laughs> with uh, the DSR. I don't know about the, the 360, but yes. Well, just it, there's also never been a BR yet where you didn't have to lead your shot with a with an true with a snipe. Oh, oh my god! Like, just like, imagine. Do getting, you want that? Yes. Yeah, I want it's that. It's COD. But how does COD do that? I'm just, I, I just really do worry that it's going to be a glorified hide and seek. Same. Which I just don't want. I don't want. I think. I, 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 I don't want PUBG style. Like like you yeah. said, like PUBG, like you get in a building, Dude, you grab your shotgun, you're like, I hope no one comes but in the here. Thing but is, if they do, I'm here. Like, is in, is in PUBG, that's so annoying. Mm -hmm. But in COD, we've. It, TDM is glorified hide and seek. Yeah. yeah. You know TDM what? They, I can respawn. You know and get, how, I can get pissed for two seconds and respawn in Battle Royale. Yeah. Like, if little you Timmy's hiding in the corner and them. I'm just dead instantly. Okay, but if you're running with your team, yeah, you're talking. Okay, you're thinking solos. I'm thinking team. And if there's a revive. Like, imagine it, me, Blake, and George could take on any building, as long as it's not like a pro player, yeah. any building full of 12 people. Yeah. Like we, I think if they keep the mist or whatever pushes the action imagine, fast, yeah. then it'll keep people from Imagine people. opening up a chest, and here comes a fucking ray gun. Because oh. it's from everything. It's every weapon you've ever experienced. It's Shit. I didn't think yeah. about that. Think ray about that. Gun? It's every weapon you ever... Grenades, you have the little monkey, you know, you walk <gasps> in and... Dude, like a disco bomb, but it's a monkey? Imagine you're sitting there in a corner and a yeah, here it just <laughs> walks out and you're just like, shit. <laughs> Your character can't be controlled. He's like moving towards the, the monkey because <laughs> that's what it did. It pulled it's like it mind control yeah. and then it blows up. Oh, he's like, Your character's, you're hiding behind cover. I don't know where your character's just doing this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think like, no. Shit. I, mean, it, I don't want it to feel like attacked on BR. That's what I'm worried about. I want it to be its own deep thing like Jack is saying. Like I want new content. Yeah. You can't just only provide content for multiplayer and zombies. Yeah. If they're going to do a BR, they can't just say, okay, here's this cool mode, guys. Like, it has to be supported. Yeah. And that is what's going to decide if it's going to last and longer it, than a month. Customization, please. Yes. Please, customization. Allow me to play as Ghost. Allow me to play as, well, uh, Mac, as, as Mac Tavish. Allow me to play, like, as, as a world... It's got to be like Mason. Let me just, can I just quickly say this to all the viewers? To those that complain about Battle Royale talk, I'm sorry, but guess what? That's gaming. This it's is, taking this is over everything gaming. in gaming right now. It's the you could, future. If, it, you're, if it's four years ago, three years ago, you're you're saying, man, I'm tired of these electric, electronic card games like with Hearthstone and then yeah. Magic and then uh, Hand of the Gods from 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 them. Then if it's two years ago, you're complaining about hero shooters like Overwatch, like Paladins, like that. Guess what? Right now, it's all BRs and it's never been bigger. So it's you're gonna have a blackout talk. You're gonna talk about Fortnite in some way. Yep. Battle, I'm, I'm, I'm saying right Do now. Do people really complain? Just don't watch or ch change the channel. Well, it's like it, it's it, people are complaining. I've I've seen a lot of people complain that BRs are like ruining gaming, or I'm tired what? of every, what? I'm tired of everyone making BRs. Like that's what people are saying, and it's like 
right now, games, if you think bro. about this, BRs right now, other than Fortnite, are are there's there's not even a good one yet. Like that yeah. is insane to me. I didn't have a PC whenever whenever H one Z one came out, and I sat on Twitch and watched like. I think I watched Nade, and then I watched, like, another dude play. I might have been CD in the third, now that I think about it. But I didn't know who he was back then. I watched them play H1Z1, uh, King of the Hill, I think it was what King it was called. King of the Kill. Well, before King of the Kill, oh. it was called King of the Hill, I oh. think. No, there was just nothing. It was, it was Battle just, Royale. It was called yeah, BR. It was yeah. Called yeah. BR. <laughs> yeah. So I watched that. I watched them play it for like six hours because I'd never seen. It was literally like the Hunger Games. Yeah. People were like, yeah. "This game is like the Hunger Games." People were camping in bathrooms, shouting at each other on the other side. Like, it was, it was unreal. And then when I finally got a PC, the first thing I downloaded was H1 because I I've always wanted to experience a BR, and it took forever to get to console with Fortnite. And now. If we're finally get to a, getting to a point where big name developers are making BR games, like, it, it, I'm so excited. Like, please, yeah. please take my money. Yeah, I'm excited. Take it all. I, okay, I will download Battlefield. I'll download COD. Give I'll, me a Vonderhaar skin. I'll download any. I would anything. rock. A you know the, you know the guy, the bald guy from Black Ops Two, like, the character model. Yeah. The bald guy from Black Ops Two. I'm pretty sure that's Vonderhaar. So it if he's be. not in, I'm pissed. Yeah. That should be, dude. Yeah. What do you guys think about the name, Blackout? I just thought it'd be Call of Duty BR. I didn't know it'd have, like, a name. Do you think I'm it's excited. cool that they named it? I think it is cool. Same. I think it is cool they named it Blackout. I think I think it's I think it's good. I'm, I'm not distracted. <laughs> no, I think, I, look, uh, I think I think that if we all get what we want and, and, and we have, I mean, again, when, when, I, when I talk about, like, different maps that we've experienced and then putting them all in this one big flat earth, um, then what? No, you said flat earth, so I was like... Yeah, it's flat earth. Well, no, it is, yeah. but what we're on is, isn't. No, yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Has that been proven, though? I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, b- before we get into that, I, th- I think that that's a, that's a good stopping point. Tell us what you guys are most looking forward to uh, in, in the BR. We just keep it BR specific. Do we have a question from last week? The question is... Uh... We don't. So just Can leave it down below. One of the things that, that you... like, if, if you have something really unique... Leave it down below. Our people who edit these videos are going to look through some of them and then pick up, and then we can we can pick up where we left off. And then I think next week uh, there, there's we, we should do we should really dive deep into the hundred million dollar opportunity that is Fortnite esports yeah. or Fortnite competition. Sure. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode of the Optic Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, everybody's description, everybody's information is going to be in the description down below. We'll see you on the next one. Hitch, hit them with the music. Ha <laughs> <laughs>